a blooming mess. It was a special day on the island of Sodor. Knapford Station was going to be decorated. All the engines were very busy and very excited. Sir Topham Hatt was at Tidmouth Sheds. Knapford Station is being decorated. There are lots of jobs to do. Thomas, you must go to the quarry and collect slate for the new roof. Yes, sir. Emily, you must go to Maithwaite Station and collect the flowers for the new window boxes. Flowers? How lovely. I know all about flowers. I know that buttercups are yellow. Emily. And then take them to Knapford Station. Yes, sir. Emily huffed happily to Maithwaite Station. She passed Toby. Toby was delivering wood for Knapford's new floors. Hello, Toby. Hello, Emily. Then Emily passed James. James was delivering pots of paint to paint Knapford's new walls. Hello, James. Good morning, Emily. Emily puffed up to a junction. Mavis was on the bridge above. Hello, Mavis. But Mavis didn't say hello to Emily. Emily was surprised. Mavis? Mavis? Hello? Mavis still didn't say hello to Emily. Emily wondered what was wrong with Mavis. I know what's wrong. Mavis must be feeling sad today. At Maithwaite Station, Emily buffered up to the flatbed of flowers. There are a lot of different flowers here, Emily. Emily knew the names of all the flowers, but she didn't say a word. She was thinking about Mavis. She wanted to make Mavis happy. Then, an idea flew into her funnel. I'm sure flowers would make Mavis happy. I have lots of them. I can leave some of them at the quarry for Mavis. So, Emily didn't puff straight to Knapford Station with the flowers. She took the track to the quarry instead. Emily huffed happily into the quarry. She couldn't see Mavis anywhere. I know. I'll decorate the quarry with flowers. That will make Mavis very happy when she comes back. Emily looked for a place to put some flowers. This is the perfect place. Mavis will see the flowers here as soon as she arrives. Emily felt very pleased with herself. Now, hmm, I must find somewhere else to put some more flowers. Emily looked around. She didn't see Edward puff into the quarry behind her. But she did hear the loud crash. Fizzling fireboxes! What was that? Edward had crashed straight into the flatbed of flowers and rolled towards the hopper. Edward, look out! Those flowers are going to make Mavis happy. Pardon? Edward was confused. I'm sure flowers by the hopper would make Mavis happy. The hopper's so gray and dusty. Emily felt even more pleased with herself. Now, I must find somewhere else to put some more flowers. Emily looked around. She didn't see Thomas reverse towards the hopper behind her. But she did hear the loud crash. Bubbling boilers! What was that? Cinders and ashes! Bust my buffers! Watch out for the flowers! 
that moment, Mavis pulled into the quarry. Whatever has happened? Emily looked at Mavis. Mavis wasn't happy. She was very upset. What has happened to my quarry? And what are those flowers doing here? Emily gasped. The flowers haven't made Mavis happy. The quarry is in a terrible mess. And it's all my fault. Emily chuffed up to Mavis. You didn't say hello today, so I thought you were sad. I brought the flowers because I wanted to make you happy. Mavis sighed. I wasn't sad. I didn't say hello because I was thinking about all the jobs I had to do today. Emily felt very silly. I wish I had asked if you were sad. Then I wouldn't have brought the flowers and the quarry wouldn't be in a terrible mess. Mavis looked at the mess. She looked very sad. Emily wanted to think of a way to make Mavis happy. And now she knew she had to ask. Mavis, what would make you happy? I would like the quarry to be tidy and all the engines to be really useful. Emily felt very pleased she had asked Mavis. Now she knew exactly what to do to make Mavis happy. I can't move. I'm covered in slate dust, and my firebox has gone out. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll shunt you over to the coal hopper. You'll soon be burning brightly again. Thank you, Emily. So Emily worked hard. She puffed and she huffed, and she heaved Thomas to the coal hopper. She biffed and she bashed the flower beds away from the hopper so that Edward could shunt his freight car to be filled. Now, the quarry is tidy again and all the engines are being really useful. Is there anything else that would make you happy? Yes. I want you to deliver the flowers to Knapford Station where they should be. Right away, Mavis! At last, Emily arrived at Knapford Station. Here are the flowers for the new flower boxes. Thank you, Emily. Emily watched as the flowers were unloaded. They looked very pretty. Did you know, Thomas, that those yellow flowers are called buttercups? And those red ones, Edward, are called roses. And those white ones are daisies. Mavis puffed up. She was smiling. My! You're smiling, Mavis. Are you happy? I am. Those flowers look wonderful. And that made Emily happy, too.